The Sad Truth About Juice World We live in a world where rappers are all known and talked about when it comes to their media presence and all of the flashy things they can buy, but rarely about their emotional vulnerability and sadness. A prime example of this was with Juice World. There is a sad and untold truth about Juice World that was discovered too late, which is what we will reveal in today's video. So stay tuned, you won't want to miss what we have to show you. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of Juice World. And if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 11, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Juice World's Background All the fans of Juice World were pushed to see the world from a different perspective because of his views and music. Juice World, whose real name was Jared Higgins, was famous for his melodic, sad, vulnerable, yet cathartic single, Lucid Dreams. This single gave him the platform to write and record the music he wanted his audience to listen to. After Lucid Dreams, the singer came up with another song, Shape of My Heart, which was an angst-ridden ballad. This song too became extremely popular. He was never shy when talking about his anxiety, sadness, drug abuse, depression, fears and insecurities, either in his soulful songs or in his candid interviews. This raw honesty made many fans feel more resonated, whether it was someone's loss they were grieving for or the loss of their own self. Juice World's Achievements the star once revealed in an interview with NME when he said, if you're not running from how you feel, that's what makes you one of the most real persons to walk this earth. Other than recording soul-endearing and nostalgic songs, he was always using his platform to raise mental health awareness. Not just that, Juice World won the title of Artist of the Year at the Billboard Music Awards in 2019. He was also one of the most streamed artists of 2019, the same year he won the Artist of the Year Award. Seeing his achievements at a very young age can make anyone say that it was all precisely pre-planned, but it was far from planned. Juice World started his journey by rapping and recording songs in his cell phone and uploading them on SoundCloud, which got him discovered by G Money and Lil Bibby. Later, he was signed by a label. Even after that, Juice World said in an interview that his song dropping is also as random as something can get. He revealed that he would just text his producer some tunes, and if it got the green light, he would only upload them. Juice World worked with his gut instinct that paid off very well. Seeing Lucid Dreams was certified platinum six times already. In early 2019, Juice World topped the Billboard Top 100 charts with Lucid Dreams that spent a month on the number two, with Bandit, also featuring Youngboy, Never Break Again, also was in the top 10. With Fine China, even at 26, he was at the top. More than just money, Juice World wasn't even allowed to listen to rap music because of its explicit language choice when he was a small boy. His mother prohibited him because of her very conservative Christian beliefs. It was his cousins that introduced Juice World to the world of rap which did end up making him a person that millions of people would end up remembering till the end. Juice World admitted to not knowing the rap lyrics in an interview when he used to listen to rap music, and that ended up in him making his made-up lyrics, and that's how it all started. Him rapping to an old song with his words. The rapper's most famous single took just about 20 minutes to write, on his apartment couch when he was a senior in high school. Those 20 minutes changed the singer's life, with more than 980 million streams on Spotify according to Forbes. Juice World lost almost 85% of his money that he garnered from the single Lucid Dreams because of the amount of popularity that this song got. 80% of the royalties of the song went to Sting, who's an English artist, because he was a credited writer, because the Juice World track sample was from Sting's single Shape of My Heart of 1993. The truth of the situation is that Juice World never cared about the money. In an interview with NME, the singer said that the song is so much more than some lost cash and lost royalties because it saved many people's lives and no amount of money lost can replace the feeling of actually keeping a human being. Without Sting, this wouldn't be the song that saved people's lives. So no bro, I don't care about how many percent of the money I lost. Addiction In the highs of popularity and fame, Juice World was battling with substance abuse. The singer revealed that he graduated from Xanax. After that, it was codeine cough syrup. Then he struggled with Listerine, which is an excellent mixture of Sprite and Listerine. The rapper revealed many times in interviews in the following years of 2018 and 2019 that he was to separate himself from the life of drugs and start his detox life journey after a drug high dose scare. But it was always unclear if the singer did end up leaving drugs or not, because if you're in the brick of addiction, it is hard to leave it for good. But on the day of his fatal seizure, the singer's bag revealed ammunition, firearms, drugs, bottles of codeine, cannabis. That showed that the singer was still battling with substance abuse. Death Juice World had once said, now and then I do have some concerns, but then at the end of the day I'll be fine, because I was out in this earth for a reason. Money was never the sole purpose of his songs. The singer always valued vulnerability and resonating fans more importance with his raw lyrics about depression, drug addiction, love and heartbreak. 
He wanted to tell the same story every rapper was trying to portray. Drugs, making them feel great and high on life, but with a different and dark side that made you lose focus of the reality. World always loved interacting with his fans and listening about their feelings and ghosts and how his music is making a change. This infamous rapper told Vulture that he can just always go on like this, making music about people dealing with depression and helping them. It's an unfortunate and tragic reality of a man of a very young age, known for celebrating life on and off the road, even when it was not worth celebrating. His songs resonated with fans with depression, anxiety, fear, and many times it was like their melodic suicide notes. But he never wanted to die, he wanted to live, helping fans dealing with mental issues. Juice World was on the road to betterment. He was loud and proud about his journey, as rocky as it was. The young rapper sang about it out loud and made his demon public so it could help people who deal with them alone. He indeed was a light worth shining longer, but it ended in a sad truth of reality. Did Juice World ever influence you, or did his music ever have an impact on you or your life? If so, comment down below on how he's impacted you in any type of way. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of Juice World, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Mixed Ice Media, see you in the next one.